the first video that I made for this step one series of YouTube videos was all about what the test actually is. Who takes it, when you take it, how much it costs, how to schedule it, uh, how long the test actually is, all that good stuff. So it was really basic. And in this video, I really want to get down into what I did to study. So this video specifically is going to focus on what I did to study during my first and second year of med school. So I will have another video that is going to be dedicated specifically to dedicated. And that'll be coming up in about a week or two, probably. So my first year of med school, I am not going to lie, I literally did not even know what step was. Like no one had ever talked to me really too much about step. Um, I didn't know how important it was, I didn't know when it was, how long it was, like I had, I really did not know anything about STEP. Um, so my first year, I didn't really do anything specific to prepare for STEP. I just studied for my classes as hard as I could and I did as well as I possibly could and that was pretty much it. If I could go back and redo it, I probably wouldn't really do too much different honestly because I feel like studying that far out early isn't really necessary. Uh, for step, but I would have gotten a first aid copy, which actually I did have a first aid copy, I just never used it. So I would get familiar with first aid, um, just kind of understanding the way it's laid out and um, how, how detailed the information is because most of it is just kind of bullet points of important facts and sometimes there are things that you need further elaboration on, and so annotating it can be really helpful. Other than that, I really would just use first year to figure out how to study. Um, like I talked about in my other videos about studying and succeeding in didactic years, I think it's really just important to figure yourself out, know what works best, know what doesn't work for you, even if it might work for other people, and just embrace the things that make you stronger. And then again, the point of medical education is to really learn things and to have them really ingrained in your brain and just really understand them. So it's so easy, okay, it's not so easy, but it's a lot easier to just rotely memorize everything you can like a couple of days before the exam and get by with, with good grades in med school. But if you do that, your long-term retention sometimes will suffer. So I really recommend focusing on truly understanding the material. Did I spend a lot more time studying my first two years than I needed to? Probably yes, but I don't really regret it because I feel like it gave me a really good foundation because when I started dedicated period, I felt like I had a pretty good grasp on the material in general. So I'm not saying I was perfect and I was, you know, doing amazing at the beginning of my dedicated period. Doing the best you can your first couple years can really make a difference into how you start your dedicated period. The last important thing to do during the first year of med school is to really just establish a regular healthy diet and exercise program. I know this sounds like really unrelated to studying for a board exam, but I think that my healthy eating habits and my regular exercise programs really helped maintain that ritual. It was part of my day and I had to do or else it just wouldn't feel right. And I think that having those things in my life helps me to maintain just regularity and I also think a lot more clearly when I'm eating clean and I'm working out every single day. So I highly recommend to establish some sort of health program and it doesn't mean you have to go lift weights or run uh, for hours or whatever it just means that you find something to really rejuvenate and energize your body so that could be lifting weights running could be yoga pilates kickboxing whatever it is that you enjoy because you need that part of the day that you enjoy when you're studying for so long um, make sure you figure out what that is before a dedicated period starts so some tips for second year so second year was a little bit different at that point i was well aware of what step was and i still could say though i didn't really do too much extra my first semester so from august to december of my second year i honestly didn't really do too much what i did do was got my copy of first aid and i actually cut the spine off so you can do that at pretty much any like printing company i think i got mine done at office depot so basically i just had my copy of first aid in this binder um, and I just got the, the spine cut off and I got it put in a three ring binder. And you can do this in a, in a bunch of different ways. Some people get it spiral bound, but I specifically wanted it three hole punched because I wanted to be able to put lined paper between the pages and add my own notes in there. Or if I just wanted to take a few notes with me, if I was going to like a coffee shop, I'd be able to take out just a few pages 
and bring them with me instead of bringing the whole binder. Our school is organ system based, so for the first year it's kind of the normal of the organ systems, and then for the second year it's the pathology. So because I didn't really use first aid in my first year, my second year I really, really heavily annotated my first aid, as well as my uh, pathoma. I did not cut the spine off my pathoma. Other people did. I just, for some reason, didn't really feel the need to, so I just kept it whole. Since our blocks were divided into uh, different organ systems, I would do pretty much just the normal studying I would for that block, but on top of it, I would make sure that I got through every single thing in those sections of pathoma and um, first aid. I also used Sketchy Medical, so I also made sure I got through whatever relevant videos there were. And for Sketchy, it was kind of variable for me because I absolutely loved the pharmacology ones and the micro ones obviously are amazing, but the pathology ones were kind of like eh for me. So there were a lot that I watched and honestly like can't tell you a thing about. So you really just gotta play around with it and um, if it's not working for you, don't use it and if it is, then do use it. Just to give you an idea of how I annotated my books, um, basically, let's go to the cardiology section, I guess. So, in my pathoma, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I just kind of put sticky notes and underlines and notes in the margins based on the videos and also what we did in class. Um, that. So, I did, most of the poster notes were notes that I thought were really detailed and weren't necessarily super high yield but things that I like to read because they help me get a better understanding of the pathology. So basically my whole book looks like this. It's just underlines and post-it notes. And then if we look at the cardiology example in my first aid, you'll see that I have a pretty similar thing going on with the post-it notes and underlines. And I'm not, I didn't really use too many like highlighters or anything crazy like that. Um, but I just did, you know, added some notes in there where I felt like it was relevant. There are places, for instance, here where I found like, the, where I felt like there was a lot of extra information that I didn't really find in first aid, but wanted to include. So, for example, like this, I would just actually take a piece of lined paper and whatever notes were relevant um, to that section and just put it right in there and that's why I really love the three hole punch. Aside from just using these resources during my second year, another thing that I did was I started doing the um, Rx questions. So those are the questions that are related to first aid and I can honestly tell you they're nothing like the board exam questions but they do really help you to nail down certain concepts and just certain key facts. I really thought those were useful uh, during second year just to help me solidify the information and then the real like practice questions are going to come from UWorld and so I can tell you personally that I didn't want to waste UWorld so I didn't want to go through them twice and expose myself to them and then just see them again and not really feel like I was really doing them and I was kind of just selecting the answer that I remembered being right. My original plan was not to even do any of UWorld before dedicated but then my last like two weeks of dedicated I started getting freaked out because everyone was doing them and I ended up doing probably like 200 questions from UWorld before uh, Dedicated even started. And I will go over this in a lot more detail in my next video, but just to give you an example, I had another binder that had all of my UWorld notes in it. And what I did was I created different tabs for each, um, for each <laughs> organ system or subject. And then every time I would get a question from that organ system, that's where the notes for that would go. And again, I'll talk about more detail about how I took my notes, specifically in a different video. But yeah, so this is cardio, for example, and it has all of my notes from every cardio question um, that I felt like was relevant to study. One last thing that I did during second year was I really wanted to make sure that I got through all my resources. So I made sure that I got through all of Sketchy that I wanted to watch anyways before Dedicated started because I didn't want to use my Dedicated period to watch the Sketchy videos. I only used Sketchy to review what I had already seen, what I already knew. By the time Dedicated period started, I had seen all the Sketchy videos. I had gone through all of First Aid except for Biochem 
and I'll tell you how I tackled biochem later. I've gone through all first aid just once before I dedicated, and then I went through pathoma twice before I dedicated. Um, the first time I went through it, I would basically just listen through the whole chapter before the block started for that specific thing. So if I had, um, for example, the cardiology block, I watched the entire cardiology pathoma um, like the weekend before that block started. And then I would watch it again later. So either during that same block, like right before the test, or in a different block, if I had extra time, I would rewatch it again to get um, a refresher on the information. So that's what I did from August to December. And then after I took the entire month of December off to just vacation and relax and enjoy my winter break, when I got back, it was time to like really sit down and get serious. So from January all the way until my dedicated period, which started at the end of March, um, I was really focused on doing what I was already doing with the organ systems and the RX questions, but then I also added in reviewing previous materials. So for example, we only have one neuro block that covers both normal and path, as opposed to having two blocks that we do for most other organ systems. So I used my extra time to review for neuro. All the other extra time that I ended up having, I would go through cardio, GI, renal, all that again for a second pass. So by the time I actually got dedicated, I had gone through most of the material at least twice. So I just wanted to recap this video because I feel like I didn't do it as organized as I wanted it to be. First year, don't worry about stuff at all, really. Just focus on learning for the sake of learning, really understanding the material, knowing what resources you like, and how to use them. Year two is when you really gotta settle down, get focused, but in from the time that you start second year until probably a few months out before your exam, you can be a little bit more relaxed, focus on trying to get through first aid or whatever resource you're using for the first time. And then by the time you're like three to four months out from your exam, really start to focus on getting those practice questions in, reviewing older material, doing more than just what the school schedule really recommends is what my suggestion would be. Once you get to dedicated period, that is a whole nother ball game which I will be talking about in another video. So if you like this video and you thought it was helpful for step prep, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading a new video in this series of how to prepare for step one. If you want to see more of my annotations of pathoma and UROS questions and first aid, then definitely come and check back in. I will probably upload that video next week.